Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita and this is the last painting of a series called Human Nature Series. I've done this series of works over a year ago and I am excited to complete it with this last painting called Better Van. First of all, I'm excited because as you may guess, I've done many over paintings ever since of that work. So more content is coming to you. But uh, let's carry on talking about this specific painting today. Today I will talk about three main topics. The first topic is going to be about the meaning of this painting, as always. The second will be about this question of what is it like to overwork a painting. I heard many different artists speak about this question in my friend group and it's quite a common phenomenon and so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. And the third topic I will brush over today but I might dive deeper in future which is a question of color and the bright colors against the more muted palette. Okay, let's get into it. When talking about the meaning, this painting is about bettering yourself and comparing yourself against past self and trying to strive to be a better person. And you can see it in the body, especially right in the beginning of the painting when I make these two bodies. And in a way there are two bodies, one is looking down and one is looking up. But also there one body split in half because it's you yourself looking at back and it's actually quite similar to what I'm doing at the moment because I'm looking back at the painting which I've done over a year ago and now I'm judging and learning from my past self and from this development of my practice. So yeah, it's about of a self-reflection and self-judgment. It's quite an important thing not only for artists, but for people in general to keep an eye on it. And sometimes I feel like I forget about it. But I guess everyone does, because when I consistently do it, I honestly feel like I'm bettering myself and I'm working on my projects and also bettering my health, bettering my exercise and all the aspects of life. And when you compare yourself to the past self, then you see the improvement, because there is always going to be an improvement. I guess that's the motivation which pulls you to carry on working on yourself. And I guess I'm portraying self-improvement and self-reflection in this painting. As a reminder to myself specifically, but also to talk about this as a feature of being a human, specifically for this series. Speaking of self-reflection, I feel like I slightly overworked this painting. Now looking back at it, I did not think about it being as overworked for this whole time, but now as I sat back to rewatch this whole footage, I realized that at the point before I applied this brown paint, it actually looked better and the form was more present in the beginning because when I covered it, I guess part of the meaning has been hidden behind. You can see it through this white mark as a mirror into it, which is actually a feature which I um, was inspired by artist called Ian McKeever because he does these transparent white swatches over the paintings. It was a big experiment from a practice which I implementing in quite many paintings ever since. So I feel like it was a good experiment and good learning process, but I might have still overworked this painting. There's nothing really much to do about it than to stop, because it's important to know when is right to stop as it is one of the important skills you have to learn as a painter. Because overworking painting is not fun and I overworked quite a few of them, but every time that happens you kind of remind yourself, oh, okay, I gotta have to not overwork it <laughs> again. So yeah, and also the color. The painting turned out to be quite gray and quite dark, I believe so. And that is one of the reasons why I find it slightly overworked, because I believe that it's important, well, at least in my practice, it's important to retain some brightness, to keep to the painting quite emotionally striking. Don't get me wrong, grey paintings are also beautiful, but that greyness, if it's in, used a lot, it has to be handled with a big care, otherwise you might get the painting to grey. And I also respect painters who make beautiful, absolutely gorgeous grey paintings and I also learn from them and try to practice that as well. But also not too much color is good and not too little color is good as well. I will wrap up today's um, talk by saying 
this painting is all about reflection yourself. Reflecting against your past, uh, your past self as a concept of the painting, then reflecting on your mistakes, because mistakes are important for your practice as well, and also reflecting on the... I guess you can include color as well, trying to always push your color forward, because as a painter, that's often what is carrying the painting. Thank you for watching my video, uh, please follow my YouTube channel, and I will see you very very soon. Goodbye.